Sean Duffy, an arrow 2 0 defeat in our first loss in the general Premier season here at the Cardiff City Stadium against Cardiff City. How do you summarise that performance? Look, you, it's, it was always going to be a tough game, a tough game when you're playing against uh, the league champions and you look at Cardiff, they were only playing Champions League football a couple of weeks ago. So it was always going to be a tough task. But the way that the girls battled today and the way that they fought for the full 90 plus minutes, that's something you can't you can't question, and it's something that every single player did. They put in their full effort and left everything out there on the grass today, and and that's the least we ask um, from a staffing team is that they give it their all, and and we can say that they did that today. End to end first half, no no at the break. What do you think about opening forty five? Yeah, look, you how how often do you come in at half time against Cardiff City at nil nil? It's not something that we've done before. So there, there are a lot of positives to take from that. But ultimately, we've, with where we are now in this new era, it's something that we felt we deserved to be in the game the way that we were. And we were creating numerous chances, but we weren't clinical enough in the final third. And and I think even speaking to, to Ian at the end there, their manager, it was a tough game and, and we gave him a really good go. And ultimately, when you play against a team like that and they get chances in front of goal, they're going to finish them. And, and that's what they did today twice. And Unfortunately for us, we just couldn't do that in their final third and, and that's something that we'll go away and work on. What was the message to the players at the break? To keep doing what they're doing. Um, something to be, like it's a performance to be proud of. But but ultimately, in possession, we did need to tidy up and we were getting into dangerous areas. So we just needed to maintain that momentum, but make sure we're, we're then a bit more clinical in front of goal. And, and again, unfortunately, when you look at both teams there, both teams um, played nice football, both teams tried to do things the right way, but it was Cardiff that were more clinical today and, and that's where we've lost the three points. And as you've mentioned before, two goals for Cardiff City in the second 45 for the Bluebirds to claim the three points. Yeah, and again, when when you work that hard, you, you're going to fatigue and, and you're going to get tired and getting hit on the counter-attack is always difficult and it's, it's a credit to the girls because they did not stop fighting. Even towards the end, we were still getting in the final third and, and still looking to create and, and it was just... Uh, one of those games where it just didn't quite come off for us. But when you zoom out and look in and you compare it to the last last season's fixtures against them, um, we were in the game for all of it. And even towards the end, it wasn't a game that I thought we weren't going to pull one back. Uh, we were still uh, dominating in 1v1s. We were still being creative and, and the girls didn't stop. And, and seeing that shift in mentality from where we were only six months ago to now, is huge and it's a credit to the girls and, and they deserve to try and feel somewhat proud of that performance today. We're back at Park Hall next week and what will be another tough test against the newly promoted Britain Ferryland South. Yeah, and, and it's a game that we're looking forward to. Obviously, naturally, the girls are disappointed, they're frustrated, uh, a lot of them upset because we did well in the game and, and it's one that we will have to overcome. But ultimately, when we look to train in the week now, we we have to switch off and refocus again and make sure we put the wrongs right from today's game and make sure we, we put them right in next week's game against Britain Ferry.